going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Dudes, baby. Hashtag Farms of Dudes. Today, there was no update to the testing list because Chris is out of the office. However, NLD modding looks like they're going to be bringing back Oregon Springs. Farming agencies working on an extension for horses. 4D modding updates us on their new Kane 12 trailer. Thunder modding's got a new community extension out. Vertex Design have some new partners and are making upgrades to their website. Plus, custom modding update us on their latest projects. Let's check it out. Today is the first Friday after the announcement of the new Cavernland and Vicon Equipment Pack DLC, which means it's Fact Sheet Friday. Today, we got a look at the Gvernland 7850 Bell Wrapper and the Vicon Fastbell Continuous Bell Wrapper, both of which I've gone into detail talking about in today's first video, which you can find linked below. If you want to pre-order the DLC for PC or Mac, I will have a link in the description where you could do that as well, and it goes to support the channel and the two DLC giveaways that I will be doing once we get closer to the release, which will be on June 16th, 2020. The DLC will be for all platforms. NLD Farmers posted on their social media sites a picture of Oregon Springs map in-game with a stock photo in the background as to tease us. Oregon Springs was one of the more popular American maps in FS17, and I even had a 50-episode series on that map. I'm very excited to see them bringing it back to 19. The farming agency released a picture of Maze Plus with a horse icon and logo below it, indicating that we will be seeing a new mod, which is said to be part of the CCM extension that was released a while back for PC players. As you know, in-game right now, you can only feed your horses oats, hay, and straw. I'm interested to see what they come up with. 40 Modding released some more pictures of their new Kane 12-tone MQ trailer. They're working on the rear grain door with a small grain door chute still to be added and finalizing the suspension. We also get to see multiple customization options, including design and capacity. Thunder Modding released a new version of his community extension mod, which includes adjustable spray rates for the fill type section. Also, when entering input text mode, the text will now change to yellow. He also put the linked value display under the setting box in green so it can be viewed if the settings is disabled. And fill type and fruit type can now be disabled, reverting back to whatever the map or mods use. If you want to check this out, I will have a link to his Facebook page in the description below where you can download it. Today, Vertex Design announced two new partners, BVL Machines and Novag SAS, with a third partner still to be announced. In addition, they will have a completely revised website launching next Saturday. There, you will find all of their downloads and current projects as usual with a frequently asked questions section, which should answer most of your questions right away. To add to that, they have made their website German and English ready. Thank you, guys. And lastly, today, Custom Modding update us on their current projects with an updated spreadsheet of all their mods and everything that I'm about to talk about right now is going to be available for all platforms. Their John Deere 8RT US was sent off to Giants for testing on April 24th, which was about 20 days ago. The John Deere 9RT update to the 2019 version is on the road to be released. I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that. The John Deere 4940 sprayer is in-game with the sprayer attachment being about 75% done with the Giants editor XML and animation still to come. The John Deere air cart and drill are both being worked on and about 50% complete altogether. And lastly, their Case IH 2000 series early riser planter is about 60% done with modeling with lots more to do. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, I will be leaving links to everything that we talked about today in the description below. Make sure you check those out. As always, there's no release dates for any mod ever, only DLCs. If I didn't talk about something that you're curious about, that just means that there's no new updated information at this time. Stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything happening in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Go Ham Fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss anything here on the channel. With all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! I'm not sure if I like doing farm some news right here. What do you guys think?